Hey everyone, I'm back. Thank you for waiting so patiently. It's been about a month and a half since I made this huge spring ecosphere. So let's take a look and see what developed over this period of time. I can already tell you a lot of mysterious things are going on. The plants are doing absolutely amazing. If you can remember, I started out with just a few plants, but now the entire ecosphere is green with plants. I've never planted this species in an ecosphere before, but as you can see, it's doing great. The Vallisneria never disappoint me. The lighter parts of a plant are young, and as you can see, these leaves are nice and big and reach all the way to the water surface. There's a lot of algae growth on the side of the jar that was facing the window. And then I got distracted by these aquatic isopods. These are the dead bodies of the mosquitoes that were born from the larvae in the jar. So here's a mystery. The aquatic isopods look really red, all of them. I don't exactly know why, but it has probably something to do with a change in their diets. Or it might be something completely else, I don't know. Here's a critter that I've never seen before. It looks somewhat like a Daphnia, but not quite. It moved in a really weird way, and I wanted to show you, but a failed attempt at shaking the jar and holding the camera straight didn't really seem to affect it. Here you can see it from another angle. Another mystery. What are these things coming from the base of this twig, touching the glass? I can hardly imagine them being roots, but it's weird that they all seem to be coming from the base of the twig. Then I saw them somewhere else and I wondered, could they be string algae? But then, how would they have come up there? There isn't any string algae growing up there that I could have splashed against the glass. I guess this one remains a mystery. There's also mystery poop and another mystery animal, which sort of looks like half a yellow sphere with two X sacs in the middle. No idea what it is. But how did this come up there though? This is pretty cool. This is the old exoskeleton of an aquatic isopod after molding. Finally something I do know. Up to mystery number something. The soil all around this jar has a brownish tint to it. Except for this little spot where it is not brown at all. I was going to complain about how you guys still haven't identified this spider yet. But then I realized that this is a completely different species. So now I don't know what to say anymore. This eight-eyed blood hedgehog is behaving really strange. This one is not. We do have baby snails from the eggs from the last update. This is quite a nice shot. This one is very clear and half buried in the soil. And you can see really nicely how it's, I don't know what you call it, base is attached to the glass.
The planarians emerged in the system as well. They always seemed to find their way into these ecospheres. I'm really happy that these isopods are doing so well. It's interesting to see that pretty much all Daphnia have disappeared, but the isopods seem to be doing great. That is pretty much everything that has happened in this ecosphere. The only thing I have left to show you is some really bad camera work. If you want to see more updates on other ecospheres, well, you're going to have to subscribe. Thanks for watching.